Hey guys, Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips. Here we are again. Now this tech tip is a real simple tech tip. Everybody in scuba diving, well, if you've been in scuba diving for more than an hour, uh, knows about dust caps. Now to be clarified, because there are dust caps and dust caps and all that kind of stuff. To clarify, I'm talking about the good old traditional dust cap that goes under your regulator, under the first stage of the regulator. Now, once again, I've mentioned this before, I have no idea why they're called dust caps. I've been around since the late 50s. I don't know why they're called dust caps. I should look into that, actually. Dr. Sam might have some idea. It's stupid. There's no dust underwater. But anyway, they're called dust caps. That's that rubber coney shaped thing that goes into the first stage right there to keep water and dirt and dust <laughs> out of your first stage. Now, dust caps and dust caps, they've changed a little bit over the years. And unfortunately, some of the changes are good. Some of the changes are not good. So let me take just a minute of your time and show you some good ones and some that are not so good, and some that are terrible on what you can do about it. So this is old-fashioned. I just stole this dust cap off an old, old regulator from, oh gosh, from the late 60s, early 70s. They were all used to look like this, cone-shaped. Yeah, I think you can still buy them like this. Cone-shaped, you can see the indent there for the... Uh, for where, where the uh, yoke screw goes in. And on the other side, it's flat. Yep. And there's a ring. Yep. And there's an O-ring in that ring. Now, interesting enough, that O-ring is there for a purpose, partially to seal. I mean, nothing does a better job than sealing uh, the first stage from any dirt or water than an O-ring. But also, it could be a spare. Now, between you and I, it's not often used as a spare because it sits in that dust cap for years and years and years and years exposed to salt water and sun. So when you do need it as a spare and you pry it out with a needle, it's useless. However, it's a, it's a nice idea. It's a spare, right? What's good about this? It's flat. It's flat. Okay, let me explain. That's important. Now, here's a later version of the same dust cap. I don't know why they did this, but for some reason, some manufacturer said, wow, we want to sell dust caps too. A little bit different. This, this, so they made this dust cap. Now, this uh, dust cap, you can see, is very, very similar. It's a cone. I mean, there's how many different ways can you design a dust cap, right? So this is a little bit different. It's a cone. And you can see the cone, they have little buttresses on them. That's what those are called, by the way, if you're into architecture at all. Uh, Gothic architecture in England, those are called flying buttresses on your dust cap. You didn't know that, did you? <laughs> anyway, but look at the bottom. Let's go to the bottom. And there you go. You can see that <clears throat> the groove is there. And the O-ring is there, but look what they've added. Isn't that handy? A nice little hole. Yeah, that's good. Oh, no, that's bad. This is not a good O-ring because that little hole, guess what? Holds water. That's right. So when you come up after a scuba dive and your dust cap has been dangling in the salt water off your first stage throughout the dive, you take the regulator off of the tank, turn the air off, and then you take the regulator off on the tank. What do you do next? Well, if you're a good diver, you put the dust cap into place, don't you? So you quickly pop the dust cap into place over top of the internals of the regulator, over top of the filter, hold it there, and screw the, uh, the yoke screw down on top of it to seal it to keep the water out. <laughs> yeah, right. Good luck. You just put a half a teaspoon of salt water inside your regulator. Yeah, that hole is full of salt water and other stuff as well. Not good. Take a look at your dust cap and see. Now, modern dust caps, they've changed a little bit. They haven't changed a great deal. As I say, there's only so many ways that you can design a dust cap. So here's a modern regulator, a newer regulator anyway, with a dust cap on it. And you can see that it's very largely the same. See, it's cone-shaped. They have a little better strap maybe to hold them on instead of just a black cord. So it's a little bit different. I have a couple of models here. Let me show them both to you. What's, what, no, I don't want to show you that one yet. This is the one I want to show you here. So this modern design, which is still cone-shaped, and it's a hard, rubbery, plasticky type of thing with a nice, strong cord on it, and it's very much the same, you see? A little dimple there. Can you see that, Kev? Oh, don't break that. A little dimple there for the yoke screw, and the back side is excellent. You see that? Now, is there an O-ring in there? Let me see. It looks like there's a groove in an O-ring. Again, Nice idea, not all that practical, but why not? And the O-ring does help to see it. And you'll also see, very, very important, you see the surface? Can you see that, Kev? You see the surface? It's flat. So now when you come back after the dive <clears throat> and you put this dust cap in place on the regulator and screw the, the yoke screw down to hold it and seal the regulator, you're not putting a whole bunch of water in there. So this is good. That's a good one. I don't know why, but some manufacturers just don't get the hint. I guess... 
I guess maybe they're not uh, they're not uh, subscribed to Ali Pierce Scuba. <laughs> because because here's here's the same dust cap you see here a nice dust cap good strap on it everything looks exactly the same until you turn it over look 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 at the back side of this one Kevin that would that holds quite a bit gosh I've I've gone I've gone into some expensive restaurants and asked for a, a rum and coke and I'm sure they put less rum in there than than, than this thing would hold <laughs> teasing of course but it holds quite a bit probably a half a teaspoon at least. Maybe a teaspoonful of salt water. So once again, picture this. Up after the dive, you're having a good time. You're not rethinking really too, uh, too much about your dust cap. It's a small thing, right? You're talking to your friend. Oh, that shark was great. Yeah, it's just great. You take your dust cap, put it in that place, and you screw it down. And you just ruined your regulator. Yeah. How many times have you thought about that? Well, think about it now. Now, if you've uh, been looking at my tech tips over the past year or two, or four or five, whatever it is, about four or five years, Kevin's corrected me. You'll know that I actually did a tech tip on the proper way to put your dust cap into place. Because there's all, I see all kinds of things. You, you've seen them, I'm sure you have guys, where we come up after the dive and, and the, the diver, big blast of air from the scuba tank to clear that out and it blows water all over the place, including inside of his regulator. Just don't do that, just save it. But I have explained in previous videos that when you come up, you take the regulator up right away, make sure your thumb is clean and dry and cover that up. It's just critical. You know, it's a $300 service charge now to service a regulator. It's pretty hard to get it for less than 300 bucks to do. So it's important that you protect this. And then take the dust cap, but before you put it into place, look at it. Look at it. If there's dust and dirt and water in there, <laughs> blow it out. Don't just blast it with a tank, because when you do that, you spread junk all over, first of all. Secondly, you don't look at it. So you can do that and you're still water trapped. Look at it. Look at it. Okay, nice and dry. Now move your thumb, put the dust cap in place. Da da ba do do it out. There you go. But the first step, of course, is to inspect your dust cap and make sure, in fact, that you do not have a bad dust cap, that you have a good dust cap. And there's the differences right there. I hope that's a little bit of information that might be helpful and maybe it'll in give you the incentive to go and pull out your regulator and check your dust caps. Okay, something there for everybody. I hope Allie Pierce Scuba Tech Tips. Talk to you soon.